Thanks for the opportunity, James. I've been in the mining industry for more than 20 years. I spent six years with First Quantum Minerals. I was an executive in the business development department. We developed a large number of projects throughout the whole of Africa, including Mauritania. After that, I was CEO of Forces Metals. This is a Canadian listed company with uranium assets in Namibia. We developed those assets from near Greenfield right through to DFS. More recently, I was with Vimy Resources, a now unlisted company in Australia through a merger. And we had once again, uranium assets in Western Australia and the Northern Territory. Well, having worked in Mauritania for some time, I can say that the local communities are welcoming and hardworking. The government of Mauritania is democratically elected and they have a modern and fair mining legislation in place. And this also extends to environmental considerations. And we are not concerned at all, given the location of our project is well away from anything sensitive. The healthcare system is a mix of public and private. Uh, it's reasonable, but we will be having our own medical facilities on site. No doubt Mauritania is considered remote, but the access within country is very good. And with the capital Nouakchott having an international airport, access from many countries throughout Europe and throughout Africa is possible, and we foresee no issues there either. It is the A238 uranium project located in northeast Mauritania. This is an advanced development project that has a 2004 jaw compliant resource. It's inferred. There's over 45.2 million tonnes at 235 ppm for 23.4 million pounds. We also have a secondary satellite deposit of over 2 million pounds at 700 ppm, a much higher grade. This resource was compiled by Forte Energy after 9,100 metres of drilling and significant radiometric information. The mineralisation occurs within thick blocks of steeply dipping granitoid with evidence of secondary development of thicker, shallow dipping, higher grade zones. Now, there's two exciting aspects to this project, James, and they both relate to growth. Now, firstly, the resource is open at depth and a long strike. And these areas are also likely to be higher grade zones. Now to put this in context, the it's a 47 kilometer corridor of prospective shear zone. Secondly, we have pegged additional ground close and aligned to A238. And there has been work done on this once again by Forte. And there are historical resources, there's drilling information, and once again, higher grade mineralization. So we see the future for A238 and associated projects to be incredibly good. Simply put, nuclear power is an essential part of the global clean energy mix. Without it, the goal to achieve significant global carbon, carbon reduction is not achievable. Now the demand for uranium is expected to increase by 127% by 2030. You couple this with a decade or more of little to no exploration and no new mines, demand will materially outstrip supply. Now, just to give you an idea, driving this demand, there are 62 nuclear plants currently under construction globally, with a further 203 planned or proposed. Lastly, and briefly, the development of SMRs, small modular reactors, will be a game changer. They provide simplicity of design, factory production, enhanced safety features, and lower costs. And I think that they will become commercialized and mainstream in the near future. We have a clearly defined timeline to achieve milestones. This will be starting with the upgrading of the existing Jort resource to meet the current 2012 standard. 
At the same time, we'll be doing further pit optimization and economic analysis. Um, and that will include resource extension analysis and associated drill targeting. Later this year, we'll be on site and we'll be undertaking drilling logistics. We'll be doing met work, resource infill and extensional drilling, and also some regional exploration work. Now, these activities will take us through to approximately Q3 2025. We already have significant ground with a sizable drop resource and exciting prospects to increase the tenement holdings and total resource pounds and grade. Yellow Rocks has an experienced team of uranium industry experts with prior working experience in Mauritania. And lastly, the demand for uranium is growing exponentially. It's generally accepted that nuclear power is safe, efficient, baseload capable, and part of the mix in reducing the effects of climate change. Yellow Rocks Energy will be at the forefront as a supplier of much needed uranium to achieve these global necessities. Please come along with us.